All right, everybody. Tonight, I'm going to talk about Doctor Strange. <laughs> this is going to be one of my fun posts. I love Marvel. Oh my god, I don't have my Marvel t-shirt on. Hold on. I have to switch out of Star Wars mode and flip into Marvel mode. Okay, that's better. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, now that's even better. So when I was sitting in the movie theater watching Doctor Strange, I was thinking to myself, oh my god, do these people even realize what they're looking at? And so it's about the multiverse. This post is about the multiverse. This post is about magic, sorcery, witchcraft, shamanism, yoga, Buddhism, and everybody else who travels the multiverse on a regular basis, except muggles. <laughs> Tonight, I'm gonna talk about occult cosmology as I understand it. Okay, so this first diagram is called the Tree of Life from Kabbalah. That's Jewish mysticism. These are the multiple universes within the Hinduism, the Hindu Vedic cosmology, as you can see all of these different levels here. These are the nine worlds of the Norse pagans. Those are also the nine worlds. And then there are all the Buddha worlds, Buddha land. All the Buddhas of the 10 directions and the three times. That means they exist in every direction in all times, past, present, and future. And then there's string theory talking about a universe of 10 dimensions. To break it down, dimensions are simply the different facets of what we perceive to be reality. Beyond these three visible dimensions, scientists believe that there may be more. In fact, the theoretical framework of superstring theory posits that the universe exists in 10 different dimensions. What the fuck? I believe in science. I happen to be very scientific. Matter of fact, witchcraft and magic is very scientific. I recommend you go to YouTube and look up Star Talk and go listen to my friend here, Neil deGrasse Tice. He has a video called What is the Multiverse? So if you want to learn about the multiverse according to science, then go check out this playlist. See, I believe that one day scientists will be able to explain magic because in the past science was magic. Whenever somebody went to the witch or went to the maid or the shaman and that spiritual practitioner was able to take herbs blood, bones, roots, crystals, and produced miraculous results for people who are sick, people who needed to be healed. Those were plants, those were herbs, that sacred herbalism. And to those people back then, it was magic. Today we take those same plants and herbs and we turn them into medication that treats schizophrenia, all kinds of horrible skin diseases, even prevents people from dying like blood pressure medication. Our ancestors also knew how to treat people and they treated them with plants. And to people back then who are uneducated and didn't understand the mysteries, those things appear to be magic to them. But as we know today, it's science. Anybody who's ever tripped on mushrooms or gone on an ayahuasca journey, even people that just smoke and get high, can tell you that there are non-ordinary states of consciousness in which you will come into contact with and talk to sometimes non-human entities, sometimes ancestor spirits, aliens, gods, goddesses, spirits of the dead, whatever. In the past, shamans used to use drugs to go into trance, even yogis. I recommend that you go to YouTube and watch the shamanic roots of yoga. That video talks about soma or the special concoction that the ancient Indians used to put together to go into their trance. Over time though, as they meditated more, they realized there are other ways to get into these states of elevated consciousness like using dream. Check out this video called What is Dream Yoga by Tenzin Wangyal Rinpoche and his book, The Tibetan Yogas of Dream and Sleep. And check out Lucid Dreaming, Gateway to the Inner Self by Robert Wagner. Okay, so back to Dr. Strange. In the very beginning of the movie of Dr. Strange, I'm not trying to give anything away, no spoiler. He has a dream and in his dream, he is actually seeing the world through another version of himself in the multiverse. Now, here's my cosmology. It's my belief that we live in a universe that has many dimensions, probably 10 dimensions in it. When we interact with spirits of the dead or aliens or gods and goddesses or whatever you want to call it, we are interacting with different dimensions within our universe. And outside our universe are other universes, basically parallel universe, maybe even running the same timeline. Is it possible to jump from universe to universe? Well, who knows? Most of the time, witches and wizards and shamans are traveling interdimensionally. That means we're in this universe, but we're working through different dimensions, different states of consciousness, lead you into 
different parts of this universe's dimensions, like dreams, which is why you should start a dream journey. See, people who practice yoga and meditation, they use lots of different ways to get into non-ordinary states of consciousness so that they can open up their mind, their celestial eye, to be able to envision what's going on in these different dimensions, maybe even travel the multiverse. Ever heard of the chakras? A lot of people practice chakra meditation. That means opening up the psychic energy centers in the body in order to communicate with all of these different worlds. There's also mudras and hand seals, as you've seen in Doctor Strange. He uses all kinds of magical gestures. The Scarlet Witch uses a rune as protective symbols. These are things that witches use for meditation purposes and for divination. Opening up their psychic abilities. nam myoho renge kyo Ooh, that's a cool chakra. Chakras. Okay, so now here's the point. Anybody who loves Doctor Strange and loves all of these, 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 this talk of the multiverse and the multiple dimensions, witchcraft, wizardry, sorcery, and all of that, now is the time that I'm going to give you all my book recommendations and YouTube channels that you should probably follow if you want to be able to develop the abilities to travel the multiverse. Advanced Magic for Beginners by Alan Chapman. That's chaos magic. Mudras, yoga in your hands, simple technique to achieve lasting health, happiness, and inner peace. The power of mantra, vital practices for transformation. The Sixth Perfection by Lama Zopa Rinpoche. There's something that everybody needs to acknowledge here. People who are interested in all of this stuff. Traditionally, in ancient cultures, and even through medieval times, somebody who wanted to travel the multiverse had to be spiritually pure. They had to be clean, and they had to be added. See, the gods aren't going to let just anybody travel the multiverse. Like this guy. You have to purify yourself. Now, there are many, many different realms. Yes, hell exists and purgatory exists. All of the ancients attest to it. There are different realms. Different realms of heavens, different realms of hell, and different places that are t terrestrial. Anything you can imagine exists out there in the multiverse. Because if you can imagine it, it's possible. Once you get to a place that you really want to advance, read the Threefold Lotus Sutra and two Buddhas seated side by side, a guide to the Lotus Sutra. That shit will blow your mind. Also check out this YouTube channel, the Arsha Bodha Center by Swami Tadatamananda. He has a video about Kundalini Yoga. That video will tell you and teach you what Kundalini Yoga really is about and not this bullshit new age stuff. He also offers a, a course, an inner journey course in meditation. Now here's an unpopular opinion that isn't going to go down very well with all the witch bitches here on TikTok. You can't do whatever you want. This isn't just about doing whatever you want. If you want to be able to travel the multiverse, or you want to be able to go interdimensional, if you want to be able to communicate with these different entities, there are actually rules that you have to abide by. Just like gravity is a rule, you can't, you can't defy gravity. I mean, people can defy gravity. It looks like they do but they are going to come down eventually. There are certain rules that exist in the universe. It makes the universe function. Same thing in the spiritual world. People who have been practicing yoga uh, for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and meditation for thousands and thousands and thousands of years that have uh, scriptures and recipes for success, for being able to attain spiritual powers and psychic development, you need to actually listen to those people and do what they say. And don't listen to any motherfucker here on TikTok, including me. So anyway, I hope that helped. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was a great movie. It had a great plot. I really like how the Scarlet Witch's character developed, and I think it was a good thing. What about, what, I, what do I love about Marvel? Well, they're always fun. They're entertaining and they're visually uh, stunning, and there's always a good moral to the story. Kind of sounds like mythology, right? like the stories of gods and goddesses. When you think about mythology and you think about gods and goddesses, stories of the Norse pantheon, the Greek pantheon, the Hindu pantheon, kind of makes you wonder, hmm, maybe all of those mythologies were with the way the ancients and our ancestors entertained themselves. Maybe Hindu and Norse mythology pointed to something greater than just the story of the gods and gods. Maybe it pointed to greater realities that exist out there different realms where these people actually live, exist, like Orishas. I guess we'll find out, huh?